Hello everyone, so I've got a new hobby and that is photography. I've been doing it about a year. Well, I don't know, that's not really fair. I've been taking pictures for ages. In fact, every one of my videos, I've probably taken pictures of my finished product. But for a year now, I've actually been leaving the house with the camera and that's something new. It's also turned into a bit of a new collection because collecting tools obviously wasn't enough for me. I've been picking up things at boot sales and charity shops, vintage cameras and lenses, and I've got quite into shooting with vintage lenses. Now I've been pretty bad at posting any of the things I've shot, but I have put a few up on Instagram and I need to get better at that. So as you can see, I've got quite a collection of gear, but the one thing I can't find a version of that I like is a camera strap. I've tried a few, I think I've learned the things I want and I don't want. For shooting, I like it around my neck because it's easy to bring up to the eye, but then it's no good for walking because it bounces on your chest and is uncomfortable. You kind of have to hold the camera. I prefer to carry the camera down on my hip across my body, but then when you pull it around to shoot, especially when you're wearing a t-shirt, the strap runs, rubs on your neck. So I like it there, but I don't like that. The other thing is I want it to be removable really easily. Most have the split rings on that take a while to take off, but I'm using the camera to film now. And in the workshop, I don't want a strap dangling from it because it's just gonna get caught on things and that's gonna end in disaster. The other thing is sometimes I like to just shoot handheld. So I'd kind of like a tether for my wrist so that I don't accidentally drop the camera or someone can't grab it out of my hands. So I've got a list of things I want and being a maker, I think I can solve those problems. I end up making a lot of the stuff I want or need, normally out of wood, but I feel for a camera strap that might be a bit of a stretch. So what I've got is some leather. I'm going to start by making the wrist cuff. I'm just going to rip down some little strips of leather for that. I've cut three of these because I don't want to take them on and off. These are going to live permanently on my favorite most used cameras. Now to attach them to cameras, I'm going to use some little brass split rings. Now I know I said I didn't like split rings because they take too long to take on and off, but because these are never coming off, I can live with it. The split rings need attaching to the leather. So what I'm going to do is slip one on, fold the end over, and then the other end of the leather will butt up against that. I'll get some stitches in, but to hold it in place for now, I'm gonna get some contact adhesive applied. With the contact adhesive, I'm just gonna get a bit put on both surfaces, and then I leave it for 10 minutes to pretty much dry. Then I can push them together and I will get a clamp on, but it should set pretty instantly. This is dry, so I can get it pushed together. Now I'm just gonna leave these to dry up for a few minutes and then we're gonna come back and reinforce it with stitching, which is also gonna hide that joint. I'm gonna get these stitched up with some red thread. This is wax nylon thread. I'm going for red because looking at my cameras, they all have touches of red on. If that's the record button or I've added red shutter release buttons to other cameras. So it's all gonna fit together. I'm gonna get two holes punched into the leather. One where one glue joint is, and then the other just over a centimetre away or two on the other. Get a needle put on one end of the thread, then pull out what I think I'm going to need and get a knot put on the other. get the needle put through the hole. I don't think it really matters which end I start at. Pull it through to my knot. Now I'm just gonna wrap the thread round and round as tightly as I can until I reach that second hole. 
that did not go to plan because when I'm wrapping it around and I get to the joint, the thread just wants to slip between the joint. So this glue held enough to be able to work with it, but I can pull it apart pretty easily. So I'm going to do that and then actually this glue will just rub off. Now I'm going to stagger the joint. It's got a proper term, but I can't remember. I think it's called skiving, but um, if you know, you can comment down below. So I've gone and got a nice sharp chisel. Now I'm going to shave down the two ends so they overlap. And get all these put together the same way now but I'm going to try some CA glue this time just to speed things up. With leather working I tend to use glue differently to how I do in woodworking. In woodworking I get some fixings in like some screws or nails just to hold everything together while the glue dries. As with leather working I get the glue on to hold it together until I can get some stitching in. Glue's dry, so now exactly the same again. Punch a hole and start wrapping the thread around. This time it's going around much better. No gaps for it to go in and every couple of wraps I just push the threads up just to keep it all nice and tight. When I've got back to the second hole I've punched, I can push the needle back through. The excess thread I'm just going to tuck under, then I can snip it off. Because this thread is nylon, you can just take a lighter and melt it. And then squish it down and you'll never come undone. It's not bad, could be a little tighter the first one, but with two more to go, hopefully I'll only get better at it. I've got three of these put together. So now let's get one attached to the camera and see how it's all gonna work. Okay, I think that's gonna work well as a tether. But now I need a way of wearing this on my body so we need to make a strap a longer strap i have a bit of one inch leather strap so really i can just work out how long i want that to be and get it sewn together and then we're going to use a clip but that's where the next problem lies let me show you my options i have a one inch brass clip which means it will fit on the strap absolutely perfectly and then I can clip one of these on. But it doesn't lock, so it's not secure. And I think it'll run on there okay, but I can imagine pulling that around and the strap moves rather than this moves. So my other option is one of these. Now, I can't open the gate until you press that button in. So that works really well, but the hole obviously won't thread on there so we'd have to make something like another piece of leather to go on there as a loop but I think that would slide up and down easier so I'm torn but I think I can go for this. Now if I don't like that one obviously I've got the brass option and I've got some more leather so I can make a new one. This I think is prototype one so maybe I'll nail it first time but I'm sure after I've used this for a while I'm going to go I want to make some adjustments to it. So this little loop, I'm just going to get glued and clamped up like the others and then stitched and wrapped the same. Right, let's bring this all together. So I've got the carabiner 
on the loop that needs to go on the strap now I can work out how long I want this strap to be to have the camera dangling about right Maybe a little more up okay happy with that I think so I'm gonna get that marked and cut to length For this joint, I'm not going to skive it or whatever you call that. I'm just going to get the two bits overlapped and glued together, clamped up, and then we're going to come back and get some stitching on. I'm going to sew this one up a bit differently because the straps wider, the kind of wrapping around won't work. So I've got some calipers. I'm just gonna scratch a line along here. Then I can get my pricking iron and prick out where the stitching needs to go. I'm going to stitch this together now using something called a saddle stitch, which means I have a needle on either end of the bit of thread and you go in and out. So I just want to hold this in place while I do it. Once I get to the end of the row, I go back through a couple of the holes just to lock it in place. Then I can trim off any excess and burn the threads like before. So that's it all done. Now let's see how well it works. Easy enough to put on. Easy enough to get the camera on. So I think I had four problems. First, I wanted to carry it down by my side, the camera. That works. Second, I wanted it easy to get up to my eye. Yep. Third, it's got to be easy to take on and off. Yep, very. And this is nice and secure. And fourth, I wanted a wrist strap. So I think we have all the criteria met. So I'm pleased with that. I'm not sure there's anything I want to change at the moment, but I'm going to have to take it out, take some pictures, see how I get on. Um, really nice being able to incorporate my making hobby into my photography hobby. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos. Mm -hmm.